This is my uh, HHO generator. I got it hooked up. Kind of redid it. Uh, got my cord running down here, along with my my air hose. Uh, air hose is coming out of the tank. That's where my fuel, uh, my gas is coming from. My my uh, the hydrogen comes out of the tank here and goes into this. This is just an empty jar. I use it so in case any bubbles or any moisture gets into it, it gets trapped in that jar and then this here hose here, that pressure goes right up there, uh, up into my firewall along with the cord. And then I uh, show you how I got this thing hooked up. Yeah. All right. Got the power cord coming through my firewall, running down here, loops around here. Split it right there. Positive is going to my alternator. Negative is grounded to the battery right there. The black wire. Can't really see that this is black because the light is so intense. But it is. And then I got the HHO hose, the hydrogen hose going. Put a splitter right here on my intake. Plugged it right in there, uh, a little T-valve, and that's going right into my engine, uh, vacuum pressure, and then going into the intake of the car, and I just put it on, I've only taken one ride in it, and I tell you what, it definitely, it just feels, it gives my gas pedal more pressure, it just feels like uh, I don't have to push it down so hard for it to go like I used to, and once you get going down the down the highway it's it's like having cruise control i mean you can keep your you can keep your speed just barely pushing the gas down but anyways that's my it's my new setup right there hydrogen hose to intake negative to the battery positive to the alternator two hoses it's easier than hooking up a car amplifier and it's worth it. I'll go ahead and fire this up. I just I don't have an on and off switch yet. So I just connect this. Connect it like that. And uh, I got a starship coil running like you've seen it. It's a inline fuse from the alternator to the inline fuse and then through a starship coil and back into this right there um, the starship coil does get hot as heck uh, there's no problem seems to run very good Doesn't hiss or sputter or nothing. It's not doing it now, but it was blowing water out of here earlier. Anyways, thanks for watching.